It's locked. Howdy, Clue Crew. Ready for another episode of Nancy Drew? Get your clue notepad ready. This mystery is getting real spooky. Nancy Drew is almost here. Hang tight a few more moments, and we're going to jump right into the mystery. Enjoy. Hang on, I'll be right with you. folks welcome to Travis J's space here on YouTube and welcome to a brand new episode of Nancy Drew oh yeah we are starting with a brand new mystery clue crew we're on it yes wow I'm uh, I'm still rather kind of shocked uh, sh shocked by how sh short-lived Stay Tuned for Danger was. That was very short-lived indeed. I mean, we didn't even, what was it? I guess four episodes and that was it. Granted, a couple episodes ran a little long uh, because of being just kind of stuck and not knowing what to do next. Um, but if it was straightforward, it probably would have been like three episodes. <laughs> for real right <sighs> but anyways uh, it came it went it was a lot of fun we had a grand old time it was good to see Millie Strathmore again um, I would like to see actually stay tuned for danger remastered that would be pretty cool since they remastered secrets can kill I feel like even just on a practical level it'd probably be a good idea because of all the glitches and the uh, yeah, the problems that it has. It's infamous for its glitches and problems, so might be a good idea. Um, so anyways, yes, now we begin our next mystery. And guess what it is? Well, you already know, because it's in the title, it's the video you clicked, you see the announcements. <laughs> Nancy Drew, Danger on Deception Island. And first of all, first and foremost, why are you going to an island called Deception Island if you, if you, I don't know what I was going to say. Why would you go to this island if you, if it's called Deception Island? They said it was really nice and fun and quaint and it's called Deception Island. Wouldn't you think that's a deception? <laughs> and you won't have fun and you won't be relaxed and it won't be quaint. <laughs> Just some food for thought. But you know Nancy, she's got that. That urge in her tummy, just insatiable curiosity to want to get over there, and regardless of what the island's called. She knows there's a mystery ahead of her, ahead of us, actually. So I'm really excited. So let's jump into this. Let's let's get past all the pleasantries here. Do you have your tea or an alternative beverage this evening? I've still got my tea kicking. It's been a long day. <laughs> And I'm still getting through this tea. You'd think it'd be a little... It still feels heavy, and I don't like that. It's like halfway through the day. See, here's the thing. I don't know if I've ever explained this before, but I do not drink my tea past 5 p.m. or I will not sleep. It will screw with my sleeping, even though I could sleep at any time these days. <laughs> but... I try to keep my tea finished by five so I can switch to my Coke Zero. <laughs> but it's just not empty today. But what I'm trying to say is it's just not emptying today. It's like it's got a... a, 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 a an indefinite bottom. <laughs> okay. Got your tea, beverage. Do you have your blanket? Do you need a blanket? See, today I do need a blanket uh, on account of this shirt. Now, y'all can't see this, but 
the color screws up in the webcam. But this is like a winter green color, and it's a velvet. So it's very Christmassy. I'm going for a Christmas best look. Christmas best. I really wish y'all could see the true colors of this in the webcam. But it's got that shadowy winter green um, gorgeousness to it. And I have a red blanket. So I'm really going all Christmassy in this in this uh, premiere episode. And yeah. <laughs> Uh, Alright, and last but certainly not least, most important question, you know what I'm about to ask you. Are you cozy? You comfortable? You're not going to have to get up in the next 10-20 minutes. You're not going to readjust your position wherever you're sitting or standing. No? Oh, okay, good. Good to know. Then, without further ado, let's do it, Clue Crew. Here we go. And this one takes place in Canada. So you know I'm happy about this. Welcome to my latest case, Danger on Deception Island. <laughs> Learn how to play, choose gameplay overview. When you're ready to start the game, choose either junior or senior detective. She sounds much higher pitched in this one. Welcome to my latest case. <laughs> gameplay overview. I feel like every Nancy we start has a different option. Gameplay overview, master detective. Very interesting, isn't it? The junior level provides a lot of help and hints. More experienced players, yes, well, we know this. Uh, we know this, and we really need the help. Yes. Dear Ned, here I am on a ferry bound for Deception Island, one of the San Juan Islands off the coast of Washington State. Oh. George's friend, Katie Firestone, is expecting me. Katie's a marine biologist who's doing research into deep water parasitic growth. She also owns a whale watching boat and takes tours out practically every day. I should be excited, but for some reason I feel on edge, like something's out of whack. Maybe it's because George and Beth arranged this little vacation for me, and sometimes their plans don't work out so well. Or maybe it's because we're about to dock at a place called Snake Horse Harbor. Kind of a creepy name for a town, don't you think? Or maybe it's because I haven't been on vacation for so long that I've forgotten how to relax. Anyway, we're here. It's not raining, but it's not sunny either. It's just kind of gray. Maybe that's why I feel so strange. Every year's Nancy. Okay, so it takes place in Washington. I thought it took place in Canada for some reason. Well, that kind of makes me sad. Katie? Hi, oh. you must be Nancy. I'm Katie Firestone. Come on, I'll take you down to the boat. Oh! <laughs> Great timing, huh? I just got back from getting some groceries. George could not have picked a better time to arrange for you to come out here. Just last week, this orca showed up in the channel, and now it... Oh my gosh, what happened? Someone tore the place apart. Oh, jeez. The engine's a mess, parts are missing, others are damaged. Why would somebody do this? Oh my gosh, I don't know, that's horrible. I'm so sorry. Uh, do you have any idea? Do you have any idea who did this? No. Look, you're on vacation. Just go relax. Or bike into town, or, or take my kayak out. It's at the end of the dock. Just always wear your life jacket, and don't go past the channel markers. And if the fog starts coming in, head to shore fast. The fog we get around okay. here is as thick as cotton. And never go out without a GPS. That's a global Oopsie. positioning system. Mine's somewhere around here. Anyway, your bunk's the empty one below. Why don't you go unpack? Oh, and here we are. Need any help? Nope, I'm all unpacked. Oh, that was fast. Are you sure? There we go. Now you're in. Tatler. <laughs> Chocolate powder reconstructed. Beach Hill Museum. That's another mystery we will have to jump into. Um, okay, first of all, wow, this is really cozy. I really like this cozy little cot area. Oh, it's so nice to sleep here. Um, wow, who the heck decided to destroy her motorboat? And now I understand the Washington thing. She, she does kind of a walk, uh, 
Washington accent. Oh, some mini freeze. Wonder what's in here. I don't know, Nancy. Dig your hand in. No, <laughs> find out. All right. Oops. Ooh, stay in there. You sassy detective, you. Take one of these. Or, oh, maybe not. I want to go on the laptop, but I still want to look around. Okay. Deception. Hmm. All right, maybe we can make a sandwich. Oh. Okay. Let's do that. And some meat. And some. Cheese. Che oh, and never mind. The packaging just made it look. Uh, uh, any sauces? Or no. See, I'm I'm very plain Jane now. Very very plain Jane. Peanut butter. No. Baking soda. What's this? Ew. Why? Why is there this moldy piece of cheese? I want to throw it out. Is this katsu? All right, this sandwich is good. What do you want to do? Mm. Eat it. Mm. Good. You like my sandwiches, Nancy? It looks like whoever damaged your engine did something to your faucet too. Oh. It'd be great if you could fix it. The pipes are in the cabinet under the sink. At least the person who messed up the faucet left all the pipes here. I hope. Who went out of their way? I mean, this is just silliness. Okay, so. Oh, so we gotta get this pipe all the way down. Oh, goodness me. Huh? Or do I have to start down here? That doesn't go there. That doesn't go there. <laughs> okay. That goes there. That doesn't go there. Okay, well. This is becoming real confusing real quick. Isn't it? That doesn't go there. Doesn't go there. That doesn't go there. No. I just thought that maybe this piece. That doesn't go there. That doesn't go there. Do we need to look at like a diagram first, maybe? That doesn't go there. What about here? That doesn't go there. Or this one? Okay, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll return to the broken sink <laughs> when we know more, I guess. Oh, wow, look at this. Oh, she does this every day. She's got her fuzzy dice, a lot of books. Okay. She's a reader. <laughs> Apparently our we saboteur took all the books out of the drawer up here. Must have been looking for something. Want me to put them away? If you could put them back in the drawer for me, that would be awesome. Oh, look at all these little chores we have to do. Oh, okay. So we're going to try to make all these books so Okay, fit. what's the best way to get all these in here with no space left over? We're going to find out, Nancy. We're going to find out. Hold up and get that right in the corner. Alright, let's shove that in there and put it in there. Okay, this is the different size. Oh, so is this. Oh, okay. How about this? And 
and then uh, oh, shoot nope 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 or nope nopes it's a whole lot of nope going on oh here we go but this has nowhere to go shoot what if we get rid of this No. Still no good. Because then you throw this in, and that in, and you are stuck with these two. Alright, let's try again. Hmm. Let's try going this way first. This is the biggest one, so let's just, sh just shove it in the corner. Uh... Something different. Ah. It's a smidget of space. Ah. -ha. ah, -ha -ah. Gosh darn tootin' rootin'. Gosh darn, okay. I'm sorry, it's just not gonna work for me. I don't think that's gonna work either, actually. Huh. I feel like it's. Uh, this way first. For everything. For th oh shoot. But then there's still these. Shoot. <laughs> Take it all out. Be tricky, y'all. This is gonna be tricky. This is not how I arrange my books, so I wouldn't know the first thing about diddly squat about any of this. <laughs> but she lives on a, or well, I guess lives on a boat. So gotta hand it to her. She is pretty nifty when it comes to where she puts her things or how she organizes her books. I wonder if maybe this one this odd one and then okay okay we got some wiggle room there because then we can do like this and then oh, that doesn't fit oh this and then maybe this Or this. <gasps> and then this. <gasps> and this. Oh, oh, we did it, y'all. We did it, y'all. <laughs> yes. All right. I to think outside the box. What do we got here? Arboreal morphology. Complex morphological issues. Microscopic tracheid analysis. Microtome surfacing? Huh? <laughs> I'm just confused as you are, Nancy. Scientists researchers just in understanding more complex morphological issues of higher order vascular perennial vegetation. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. She's gorgeous. Gorgeous author. Um, however, not our cup of tea, but it is the only book we can read, so I think eventually we will have to get our hands dirty with some science. A micro, aha, yes. Know thyself. I spoke too soon. 
Okay if I use your microscope? Sure, go ahead. Easy access slide samples. This is, we're gonna have to use this. Oh. Oh, it's got samples. Butterfly wing. Awesome. That's cool. Wow. Interesting. Uh, a flea. So Ugh. cool. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> Onion skin. Don't cry. Wow. That's cool. I like that one. It's like a bunch of old flat flagstone. The like a very fortified wall. Feathers. Nancy has nothing to say about feathers. Ugh. Raw meat is. It looks kind of the same <laughs> as it does up close. Okay. Well, we know about that now. Ah, my trusty laptop. Good thing I recharged my batteries. Yes, a good thing you did. Uh, oh, anagram buster. Ah, my brand new anagram buster. If I come across letters that need unscrambling, I'll be all set. Yay! Oh, that's good to know. Journal. Oh, I gotta call Bess and George. Yay! Good! Here we go. Oh, I can't check these ones. Okay. Uh, GPS. Find out. Now, Trevor J is getting cold. Colder. So, I need to wrap up. Ow. Oh, there we go. Okay, this arm is just not going to be able to stay covered. Check in with Bush and George. Okay, so let's call them. I like how this is a blue laptop. It's a beautiful color of blue, too. Very nice. Very nice, Nancy. Good choice. Uh, Bayes. Hello! Oh! She's busy. Well, um, did she know we were going to call? And we can't call George? Oh, let's call the Hardy Boys. Oh. Maybe we don't have enough reception up here? What's up here? Oh, yeah, we've been up here. Oh, my. Oh! Oh! Scary. Maybe we should ask if we can help. Actually, first, let's be nosy. <laughs> this note wasn't here before, was it? No, oh. whoever messed up my boat must have written it. Stop meddling or else. What is she meddling with? Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Katie's GPS oh. doesn't look so hot. I better tell Katie her GPS is broken. And I guess that's something you don't. <laughs> Um, I guess the GPS being broken isn't something you just yell out across the boats. So, bit of a delicate subject. Alright. You know, Nancy, for what it's worth, I shot my mouth off pretty good at the town meeting last night. Uh-oh. Okay, this could be some... This could be some reasoning. You think that could be why someone did this to your you boat? You think that could be why somebody did this to your boat? I did get pretty obnoxious. See, the thing is, this orca, this killer whale, showed up in the channel about a week ago and has been hanging around here ever since all by itself. She was getting way too close to boats, so I called the National Marines Fisheries Service. They made some recordings and did some tests and are analyzing them. In the meantime, they ordered all boats to stay at least 300 feet away from her or risk oh, wow. paying a thousand dollar fine. That's what the meeting last night was about. Oh, uh, huh. 
I mean, it seems safe. It seems like a reasonable request until they can move the orca. And also, side note, I love her sweater. The color, the tightness, going along with this vest too, with the green lining. Oh, I mean, of course, redheads just look incredible. Well, especially if she's a little coppery looks really good with the green always some people don't like that idea the people that fish for a living sure don't oh. they're steering clear of the whale by taking the long way around the island to get out to sea which costs them time and fuel some people say she should be captured and towed out to sea hmm. what do you and say? what do you say yeah. i agree with the no boat zone I also think that if she's found to be sick, she should be shipped to a research facility for treatment, True. not returned to her pod. I said as much last night, only much more strongly. Huh. Do you want me to call? Yeah, we can Do call Do you want me sheriff. to call the sheriff for you? Come Actually, I'd rather not get the sheriff involved. The okay. insurance company would raise my rates and I just can't afford that. Besides, okay. I've got my very own private detective now. You. <laughs> That's us. <laughs> I'm afraid whoever tore up your boat also wrecked your GPS device. Oh no. It'd be a shame for you not to go kayaking. Oh, I don't know. Worry about Bike that. to the Hot Kettle Cafe and see if Holt Scotto will let you borrow a GPS from him. Oh, okay. See you in a bit. Have fun. Probably without not without doing something for him. I'm sure. I'm sure. What is this? Oh. I thought that was a cow for a second. <laughs> uh, okay. Time to go. Katie's boat, Whale World. Whale World! Oh, Whale World. I can't wait to go to Whale World. Learn more about this orca. Maybe it would be okay in the sea. Old Scotto. Looks like somebody's running for Harbor Master. Yeah. Okay. Well, well, well. Put my vote in for you. I love that stained glass. Ooh, look at this cozy little restaurant. Oh, it's loud in here. There's not a lot of people. Whoa, there's a lot of, lot of people in here. <laughs> it's loud, but. What's this? Uh, yet another puzzle for us to show. Uh, another one. Nothing behind this one. Yeah. Okay. Oh, maybe they're all on that side. Unless that's a mirror. No, they must. They must all be on that side. Huh. Dungeons crab. Each flag stands for a letter of the alphabet, and so do those words. Interesting. Oh, very neat. I don't think I'd ever memorize that. This I remember when I worked at OnStar. A is an elephant, G is an elephant, C is an elephant, and I am a elephant. Thank you very much. I'll be on board. Just put you on a three-fold. And uh, reserve for the SHH Club annual party. Too bad I wasn't invited. Sounds like they're having fun. It does. It really does. I was wondering, I'm like, uh, what's going on? Hang on, I'll be right with you. Uh, actually. Actually, I'm looking for someone named Holt Scotto. So what do you want? Uh, I'm Holt Scotto. I'm Holt Scotto. Yeah. I'm Nancy Drew. Katie Firestone said I might be able to find you in here. Well, you're not one of them save the whale and uh, heck with everybody else crusader types like <laughs> she is, are you? So you are not happy with the decision. <laughs> is that what you think Katie is? Her true colors came out real clear last <laughs> night. Us fishermen don't count. All that matters is rescuing that poor precious orca out there. To heck with people trying to make a living. Of course, is the way she makes her living being hurt by that whale? Why, no. Her business is booming. Now, ain't that the oddest thing? I don't know if that's her intention, though. Yeah, her boat was ransacked, ransacked this morning. She ticked off a lot of people last night. 
That's what she gets for being so meddlesome. Oh. Anyway, welcome to Snake Horse Harp, home of Cadborosaurus. That's how this place got its name, you know. Cadborosaurus? Who's Cadborosaurus? Well, that's the sea monster <laughs> Native Americans used to see out in the channel ever so often. Called it the snake horse. Oh. Had the head of a horse and the body of a giant snake. Oh. People on Vancouver Island started calling it Cadborosaurus after it or one of its relatives was seen a couple of times at Cadbora Bay. They call it Caddy for short. <laughs> well, that's pretty uh, creepy. <laughs> Is it a friendly sea monster? Is it a friendly sea monster? Back in the late 1800s, he took the rap for a lot of hoodoo around here. Fog and roll in at night, and men would just vanish. Oh. It was the snake horse people would say. <laughs> Little did they know. Oh. I don't want to meet this snake horse. Cataborosaurus. Why do you think they Why vanished? do you think they vanished? Well, they'd been Shanghai. See, a bunch of establishments in town had secret panels built right into the walls. Guy'd be having a drink one minute, next minute he'd be clobbered over the head, whisked into a secret passageway, and taken out to a ship waiting in the harbor. But he'd wake oh, up on the oh. high seas and discover that if he wanted to survive, he'd better do what the captain ordered. No matter what he was before, he was now a sailor. It was I've a cheap way for before. captains to get crews back then, and an easy way for some of the town's citizens to make money. Wow. So that's happening here? Or it was happening here? Whoever trashed Katie's boat also ruined her GPS. Oh, now that's a shame. Oh, I don't like his attitude. I don't like how vindictive you are. Almost a little resentful. Hmm. Well, I would be a little more sympathetic if I were you, running, wanting to run for harbor master at this time. Thing is, I'd like to go kayaking while I'm here. Only I can't without a GPS. Oh, now that really is a shame. I tell you what, oh. I got a spare right here in my duffel. You know what else I got in my duffel? I have no idea. I have no idea. <laughs> this is a little seamanship quiz I whipped up. Oh, no. I'm thinking about making people pass it before they're allowed to rent any kind of watercraft once I become harbor master. Here. The idea is to cut down on having to rescue people who got no business being out on the water in the first place. The trouble is, nobody's actually taken it yet. I need a guinea pig. All right. You mean, if I take the quiz, you'll let me borrow the GPS? If you pass the quiz, the GPS is yours. You'll need that container for the last question. <sighs> Yikes. Well... Did you say you were a fisherman? Fourth generation. I fished every ocean for just about every fish you can make money fishing for. Lived here for the last 11 years. Oh, wow. How often do you go fishing? Every day. Only reason I'm not out there right now is because I've been in and out of campaign meetings since 8 this morning. My goodness. No offense, oh, but whoops. you don't look I like a politician. Oh, <laughs> well, thank you, young lady. I'll take that as a compliment. I think it's high time people around <laughs> here started good. doing what makes sense instead of doing what's politically correct all the time. Harbor Master we got now True. bends over backwards so far for the environmentalists, it's a wonder he can still walk upright. See you around. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Oh, I like this Scotto. Oh, Scotto. All right, let's take a look at this sun. The sun always sets. Oh my goodness, I should know this. Sun always sets in the east. No. West. That looks right. Yes. <laughs> what is the current find for clam? The left side of the boat is its bow. No stern. No, let's front and back. Bow stern. Starboard. Starboard. Nah. Oh, it's four letters. Bow. Nah. Bow, stern, starboard. Oh, I can't remember the other one. We used to play a game in elementary school with a substitute teacher named Mr. Noble. And it was a fisherman's game. And we'd have to run around the gym and do what he said based off of old nautical terms. 
So he'd say, Starbird, and we all have to run to one end of the gym, and then he'd say, Pow, and you'd have to run to one end of the gym. And then there was one called, there was a whole bunch of just uh, mop the deck, and everyone would have to start mopping around. Or Fisherman's Water, or Captain's Lady, and you had to do a little. <laughs> There's so many different ones. It was so much fun. I used to love when Mr. Nova was substituting. Um, yeah, a little side note. <laughs> so that's how I'm remembering. Thank you, Mr. Noble. I'm remembering my boat. Except for the one starboard. Bow, starboard. No, bow. Okay, we'll have to research that one. It always rises in the... Eats? Yes! Okay. What does this mean in Morse code? <laughs> North Star is part of what constellation? Oh, I don't know actually. Yeah, this is two pages. Great. A schooner is a boat with at least two sails! No. Oh. <laughs> at least two. Mass. Very good! <laughs> yes! Thank you, Nancy. What is the name of the knot below? Good plan. What kind of knot is it? Bring me a Dunganese crab. Oh my goodness. He's really putting these people to the test if he becomes Harbor Master. Okay, so what can we learn around in this building? Maybe you again? We can ask See you around. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, whatever. A male dungarees. What's the difference? Oh, these tiny little scales. Okay. Got a little point to it. Okay, well, at least I thought we would have to use this chart. I guess not. Alright, let's go back to Katie's boat. Let's use our. Oh! Rough road. In hospital. Oh, oops. I grabbed the helmet the first time. Damn. <laughs> I'm glad they, you know what? I like how they emphasize the importance of wearing your helmet. It is very smart and very safe and you shouldn't go in that way. Especially in a place like this. All right. Let's see what we can learn. Let's see, see, see what we can see, see, see. Be fun to explore. Oops. We're watching. Sneakers. Orchestras have trouble. looking up here. Let's look up boats. Wait, what? Oh, Morse code. So what's with Morse code? <laughs> okay.
Oh, I need to write this down. Hey, I don't even have the journal out. Can I see true art case files here? Naughty, naughty. Naughty, naughty boy. Alright, so... Write down the Morse code here. That is V. Next we got dash dash dash. And then we got dash. And then we got dot. And then we got dot 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 dash. Dash. And then we got just dot 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 dot. And then we got dash dash dash. Again. And then we got dot dash dot dot. Dot dot. And then we got dash. Okay. Oh. Big stretch. Ugh. Ugh. A little painful, a little relieving. A mixture of both. <laughs> oh, okay. Let's see here. Dash, dash, dash. That will be up here. O, V, O, dash, just dash. Mrs. Dash. Mrs. Dash. T. Another T at the end. Dot on its own. Dot on its own. E. Vote. Oh, here we go. Vote for me. How very politically. How very political of him. Politically strategic of him, I should say. Four dots and a dash. It's going to be something about him. dots in a dash. No, this is four dots in a dash. Huh. It doesn't show that one. Oh, f aha, four dots in a dash. Oh, makes sense. The number four. Vote four. Four dots on its own. Four dots on its own. H. Vote four. Uh, three dashes. Dashes. Oh, vote for Holt. Vote for Holt. Oh my gosh. Of course. Of course. Vote for Holt. Correct. Oh. So, what is the current time for Clan Little Clan? Oh, let's ask. Let's ask our good friend. Oh, so can we discuss Erka? Be heard. Be there. <laughs> So small town. What's up? Uh, sounds like Holt Scotto was one of the people who did care for. Sounds like Holt yeah. Scotto was one of the people who didn't care for what you had to say last night. Right. He and I never see eye to eye. Oh. Now, if I were a fisherman, I'd be right as rain, no matter what nonsense came out of my mouth. Mm -hmm. Fine harbor master he'd make. So you know nothing about clams. See you in a bit. <laughs> I'll be right here. <laughs> There's something to do with clams up. No. What are we gonna learn about clams? Maybe we have to go to Whale World. No. Uh, yeah. Whale World. Have a whale of a time. Right. I think we could learn a lot there at Whale World. I mean, about whales. I guess. Or Lighthouse. Maybe there's some information at the Lighthouse. Whale World, obviously, by its name, just sounds like it's more of a whale. Oh. This is interesting. <gasps> Yuck! I'm not picking them up. No. It's gross. 
Is there anything the other than? Oh. These would be great for rock skipping. Yeah, let's I take already a bunch. have some rocks. <laughs> oh. Big fun. We can actually go rock skipping. I already have some rocks. I already have some rocks. So where do we do it? There goes the bell. Oh, Interest. Oh, a crab hole. <laughs> it's a crab hole. Ooh, look at this. Uh, yep, that's a male. Ha! Good. We got a male dungaree. S S. Maybe this broke off from a ship. Oh. Okay. There's something in that bottle, but it's stuck on those rocks. Ah, this is where we skip. Let's focus on the task at hand. We've got stuff to learn. But let's... Interesting. More holes in the sand. Uh, but let's... Can we grab some more rocks? Yeah. Alright. For next time. I feel like these waves are gonna just push them in. Okay. No trust passing. What do you think you're doing? Oh. Those signs over there say no trespassing, which means keep out. Which means you, girly. Girly? Leave. But I just... Now. Oh, jeez. What is this banging around noise I'm hearing? Okay, alright. Get out of your hair. Where the heck did he come from? Has he gotten like an alert on his... Something around his neck. Okay, so that works a little bit. Oh, so close! Shoot. I guess we should spend more time on that like focus on that because we're going to start getting used to rocks and what the rocks look like and what power and angle they work at because that last rock i mean i can't remember what it looked like this five seconds ago but it got pretty dang close all right off to whale world whale world whale world <laughs> whale world whale <laughs> okay. Let's learn. Let's learn some nautical facts. <gasps> oh. Well, that sucks. We came for whales and facts. So I guess everything we need is all in Katie's boat. Oh! On the search engine! On the laptop, there was more options. If you click search, there's more no options. Let's try that out. <laughs> oh. 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 Right. DI portal. See, here we go. Not samples. Okay. 
We're looking for one that's like that. It's like loop loop. Fisherman's not. Fisherman. Perfect! What kind of knot is it? Benz. It's a Benz. Not like a Mercedes Benz. That should do it. <laughs> okay, so what's the current one? Okay, so now we need to know about planning. Old Guido himself. Okay, we need to know about the left side of the boat. So not about planning. <laughs> mm -hmm. Maybe we could ask the bartender or the lady who owns Hot Kettle Cafe. Yeah, maybe she knows about planning laws. Uh, sorry, stretch time. Oh, oh. That was... oh. Get relaxing. Oh, okay. Hopefully, she has something to say to us. What can I get for you, Nancy? Since we haven't met, there's only one way you could know my name. Since we haven't met, there's only one way you could know my name. On the day my Aunt Iris turned this place over to me, she said, Jenna, you're about to become a real good listener. And darned if she wasn't right. <laughs> How long ago was that? Aunt Iris left it to me three years ago. It's been in the Dublin family since the day it was built, which was back in, like, 1866 or something. So, wow. you're visiting Katie Firestone. My condolences. What do you mean? What do you mean? Me and her don't see eye to eye on a couple of things. You mean like the you whale? Mean like the whale? That orca out there should be rejoined with her pod as soon as possible. P 
Period. End of story. No matter what Miss Fancy Schmancy Science Degree says, other people may be bamboozled by all her talk of data charts and field tests and monitoring whatnots, but not me. The only thing she wants is to get that whale into an aquarium. It wouldn't surprise me if Katie's been secretly feeding it, which is against the law, by the way. And you know what else? It wouldn't surprise Clamming? me if she trashed her oh. own boat because she knew that after that meeting last night, everybody Clamming would assume awesome. that Holt did it and not want to vote for him. I got an idea. Let's change the subject. What are they? Oh, Shanghai. What do you know okay. about the Shanghaiing that used to go on around here? It never went on. That's what I know. Shoving grown men into passageways and carting them off to ships never to be seen again? It's just a big, colorful, tall tale. Never happened. I don't believe it. It's been fun talking to you. Back at ya. Yeah, nothing about clamming. Nobody around here knows about clamming. So the dead fish I saw on the beach were Atlantic herring? Okay. Clam chowder. We're getting closer to the clam. Oh, this what one. is this card thing? Good question. And I said it, and the others like it. It's been on the walls up here since the place was built. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> Nothing behind this one. So there's two panels so far. <laughs> oh, we, we haven't been over here. Oh, please have something on the clam. A book on sea monsters. Very cool. Yeah, but... <laughs> I am desperate about these clamming lines. I mean, that is pretty cool, gotta say. However... Nothing. Not a dang thing. You again? I'm sorry for trespassing. I'm sorry for trespassing like that. Yeah. So what do you want? Oh, oh, I've got a male crab. I've got a male crab, I think. Let's have a look. Right as rain. Just ace the rest of the quiz and you'll be home free. I'll take care of the crab for you. <laughs> Thank you. I'm pretty sure I saw a couple of dead Atlantic herring on the beach earlier today. Is that possible? Nope. You may have seen Pacific herring, but not Atlantic herring. No way. But, the but they match the picture I saw yeah. on that postcard over there perfectly. Because Atlantic herring are found only in the Atlantic. Trust me, I spent five years fishing for them. We'd catch them by the hundreds, freeze them, and sell them to aquariums and such. So someone is feeding the orca. <gasps> Frozen Maybe that that's way. why the fish I saw were together like that. They've been frozen that oh, way. Look, yeah. I don't know how it is where you're from, but up here seeing two dead fish on a beach isn't exactly front page news. Let it go. Jeez. See you around. Yo ho ho. Hey, stay out of it. Sorry. <laughs> I thought Too I bad could I go wasn't away. invited. Sounds like they're having fun. Does anyone in this establishment know anything about clamming? My goodness. What was the question again? What was the current fine for clamming? Yes. Oh, isn't it maybe a thousand dollars? Huh. Twelve hundred dollars. Huh. It's gotta be a big... North Star is part of what constellation? Oh, we can answer that one. It's over there. Wouldn't I like to know? Hop board. Fish friends. Fishy friends. <gasps> oh! We're out of time. Oh. Okay, well, let's get this one first. How did they do it?
We're doing something as simple as holding an arrow and I'm saying same time and we're going to start at the same time. Okay. What is the question? Part of what constellation? Polex? Little Dipper. Am I smart or what? You are! You are, Nancy! I think I am too. <laughs> Is that it? We just need to know about this clamming business. <sighs> like five hundred dollars, that's not gonna do it. Huh. No. Let's see what the limit is. One, two, three, four, five. Huh. So it's five digits. So let's try ten thousand huh. dollars. Nope. Eleven thousand huh. dollars. We tried twelve, thirteen thousand. Huh. 14,000, oops. Huh. Huh. Let's just go up to 20. Huh. What the frig? What is the current fine for climbing without a permit? Oh, that's Nothing. We need to get to Whale World. <laughs> okay, listen. We're just gonna have to. Let's end it here. Um, probably actually, this is the best place to do it. Our new home base. Where we will start each episode and end each episode if we can. Hopefully we can. <laughs> well, this has been a really fun episode and to start. And the scavenger hunt has been a lot of fun. Remembering some things, not remembering others. Uh, but this clamming business is just driving me up the wall. It's the last thing we need to answer. Um, other than that, very disappointed that Real World's closed. And, uh, what do you call it? We're gonna have to figure out this stone, uh, stone, um, skipping rocks puzzle with the, the, the message in the bottle. <clears throat> I'm very curious about that. So, we've got a lot to do while our friend Katie gets the motor running. And, uh... Yeah, I guess we'll have to eventually figure out what's going on with those panels in the, the restaurant, but I don't think that's going to be relevant for a while. Eh, anyways, it'd be cool though eventually to see what's going on down there. See if people were really, truly shanghai That's scary to think about. <laughs> but it did happen quite often in history, especially in San Francisco. Yeah, happened a lot. All right, folks, thank you guys so very much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you so very much. Very grateful that you take a little time out of your day to come chill out with Travi J. I appreciate it. Huge. And uh, hang tight. we got lots more. This is just the beginning. And we got a lot more to figure out and explore and discover here with Nancy Drew. Um, but yes, I do appreciate you all, and the pleasure is really all mine. I really love ha having the opportunity to create these experiences for us to share over the mutual love for all things Nancy Drew. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's just, that's, that's basically what Travi J Space is all about. Well, not just Nancy, but sharing the mutual love and admiration for all games and such but Nancy Drew has always been my first love so <laughs> a little bias <laughs> and if y'all know anything about clamming random question I know but if you do I guess you wouldn't know about the fines in the world but yeah never mind then you wouldn't know <laughs> All right, but if you have an idea where to go to figure it out hey Drop a comment below, let me know. We're doing this together, guys, so help me out. 
<laughs> but we'll figure it out. We'll certainly figure it out. Hopefully in the next episode. Anyways, toodles for now. Ta-ta! Ciao. Till next time. Howdy, folks. Did you like that video? Well, then why don't you go ahead and give that thumbs up a smackaroo. Don't want to miss out on the next episode? Give the subscribe button some love and make sure to turn your notifications on. That way I can give you a bell a ring, let you know when it is served. Still need more to chew on? Take a bite of my new YouTube Instagram account at J Space to keep up to date with the channel's inner workings and news of upcoming projects and episodes. Thanks for watching. See you next time.